Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Josie's Point of View, where we focus on human interest stories from the Carolinas and beyond. Today it's Tuesday and it's July the 27th, 2021. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, I want to say welcome. I'm certainly glad you've stopped by. And if you're a returning viewer, by all means, thank you for coming back. Please take a few minutes to like and to share this video and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much in advance. And our story today takes us to the Pentagon in Washington, D.C. Take a look at the headline. And it reads, to star general demoted to lieutenant for sexually abusing his daughter. I'll provide you with a summary here, and as always, I'll place links to a few of the full articles in the description box. I have been following this case for over a year, and last summer, I have to admit it was a bit, I was a bit disgusted because it seems as if the crimes committed by what we thought was a well-respected general officer would go unpunished. At that time, it seems as if power and influence had successfully allowed an alleged child rapist to go free. But then, eventually, things began moving in a different direction, a different outcome, and I have never been so happy to see justice being served. And this is a perfect instance of delayed justice but certainly not justice denied. And today we're talking about former two-star general James Grazier Plain, a West Point graduate with ties to Fort Bragg as well as the Pentagon. He was commissioned in 1972, progressed through the ranks, and eventually retired as a two-star general in January of 2005. So he was in uniform for almost 33 years. And by all accounts, he was someone who was a very high-profile status, a well-respected military officer. And as I already mentioned, he retired as a two-star general. Well, in May of this year, the Secretary of the Army saw it fit to demote him from a two-star general to the rank of second lieutenant, and that reduction is permanent. It can never be appealed. Now, this story has a lot to do with family secrets, denial, as well as parental sexual abuse. Now, Grazia Plain, he has an adult daughter. Her name is Jennifer, and she's now in her 40s. And it's okay for the world to see her face because she did that several years ago. Well, back in 2015, Jennifer contacted military officials at Fort Bragg and made them aware that she had been keeping a secret for a very long time. And her secret was that her father had sexually molested and raped her repeatedly throughout her childhood. It took her some time to eventually report the abuse, but eventually she did, and they asked her to come in, fill out a written statement, and during that encounter, that face-to-face -face encounter, she began to pour her heart out, describing in detail about the sexual abuse she stated she suffered at the hands of her father, the general officer, for as long as she could remember. According to reports, she recalled night after night in dark bedrooms and laundry rooms and anywhere he could steal time away with a child to include stops on the way to piano lessons beginning when she was very young, a young child, and continuing in the years as a young woman when she was heading off to college. And it does appear that her mother, the general's wife, knew about the abuse, but we're going to get back to that in a few minutes. So the military launched an investigation, and they found sufficient credible evidence to move forward to the, with the grand jury investigation. And following a four-month investigation by the grand jury, Grassler Plain was indicted by a grand jury on six counts of rape, incest, and indecent liberties with a child. Military prosecutors allege the rapes took place at various military duty stations where the family had lived, at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, two locations in Germany, at Woodridge, uh, Virginia, because he was assigned at the Pentagon, and even at Fort Bragg here in North Carolina. Now, this is a part that I find rather interesting. It appears that Jennifer's mother and the General Brazzaclean's wife had been aware of the abuse. In a letter she had written to relatives, she explained how she had found him she had found her husband preparing to molest her daughter, and this information was used by the prosecutors as evidence of his crimes. Makes you wonder just what she actually did in that uh, situation. I find it a bit disturbing that a mother who knows or mother who even suspects that sexual abuse has taken place and that her daughter, her child, is an innocent victim, it's difficult for me to understand why she would keep a child in that environment. But we'll come back to her in a few. 
And as expected, her father and his team of attorneys claimed her accusations were fabricated, and they suggested she had a history of lying to authorities in the past. And really, she seemed they seemed to imply that she was mentally unstable, but nonetheless, she prepared herself to testify before her powerful father in a court of law. But unfortunately for her and prosecutors in this case, just about two weeks before Grazaplane was set to go on trial, a top military appeals court found that a five-year statute of limitation existed for sexual assault in the military. Uh, if the assault occurred before 2006, there could be no prosecution. Yes, who the heck came up with that law? This is just pathetic. It's pathetic as hell. And that's just showing how much the military cares for survivors of sexual abuse. But nonetheless, let's continue on. So the Army had focused their sexual abuse case, well, they had focused their case on the sexual abuse that took place between 1983 and 1989, charging him with violation of Article 120 of the Uniform Code of Military Justice, including six specifications of rape of a child on multiple occasions. But when the Court of Appeals indicated they could not only go back five years, the Army dismissed the case, but Grazia Plain was not about to be a free man. The case then moved to authorities in the Virginia Civilian Courts, and in Virginia, there's no statute of limitation. So instead of just having to focus on the rape taking place in the last three years when Jennifer was in high school and around age 15, they were able to focus on the entire case. He was indicted by a grand jury and arrested in December of 2018, and the judge denied him bail, wise judge indeed. So Grazapli now had to remain locked up until his trial, and by all accounts, the evidence against him was just so strong, and a trial was not something he really wanted. So after numerous delays, he was scheduled to stand trial in, December, in September of 2020. But guess what happened? He was, he was going to do whatever was necessary to make sure he did not have to stay in prison. So here comes the plea agreement. So in July of 2020, Grazia Plain pled guilty to one count of rape in exchange for 20-year probations. Since he had been in jail for 18 months awaiting on trial, he would serve no additional jail time as part of the, uh, um, this plea agreement. His victim, his daughter, agreed to the decision because she was probably exhausted at this point, and to her, a guilty plea was more important than sending him to prison. At least she could now prove to the world that she was telling the truth all along because everybody had been calling her a liar. So now she can prove he actually had been raping her. What she had been saying was true. So in essence, it appeared as if he had gotten away with repeatedly raping his daughter for over a decade while he pretended to stand firm on military discipline and imposing sentence on others for similar acts. Many of us were outraged. We were disgusted with the sentence because to, it seems as if he was just given a slap on the wrist and sent off on his merry way to enjoy the remainder of his retirement. It just did not seem right. How could a general officer commit a, a heinous crime against his own child and get away free? It was not making any sense. But someone in authority was paying attention. And just as the general thought he had gotten away and he was going to be going on and enjoying his retirement years, we found out in May of this year that the Secretary of the Army took action in this case. Uh, the Secretary of the Army demoted Raja Plain from the rank of two-star general to second lieutenant. In making this decision, General Austin stated that the evidence shows the rank of second lieutenant was the last rank in which he served on active duty satisfactorily. He also stated that when you retire, you are still subject to UCMJ action. And this reduction from two-star general to second lieutenant means his pay will be cut by at least two-thirds. And as I previously mentioned, this decision cannot be appealed. And in case you're wondering why General Austin got involved, it, it's, it's because there were either two or three cases pertaining to when a victim can file a claim against another service member for sexual assault. And this had been in the works for some time now, and it had finally made its way all the way up to the Supreme Court. And last fall, finally, the Supreme Court issued a ruling. 
And in an 8-0 to zero ruling, the Supreme Court ruled there are no statute of limitation for rape and sexual assault in the armed forces. That means that five-year rule or that five-year statute of limitation is null and void. It no longer exists. If you are a victim, you can file charges against another service member at any time, and he or she will still be held accountable. And this is the only way Raja Plain was able to be held accountable within the military system. Now, I want to focus just for a few minutes on Mrs. Grazia Plain, the general's wife, and the role she played allegedly while all, all of this sexual abuse was going on. First, it was clearly stated that Jennifer's sexual abuse was an open secret. Everybody knew about it. They just didn't talk about it. As previously mentioned, Mrs. Grazia Plain once detailed in a written letter to a family member that she had walked in on her husband as he was about to abuse her daughter. In a letter, she stated that while she was playing housewife he was taking perverted liberties with her child huh see that means she knew what the heck was going on in one of the interviews jennifer said as a teenager her mother would share how she needed to dress around her father how what type of attire she should be wearing when she was around her father in a phone call in 2015, Jennifer said she confronted both of her parents about the sexual abuse that she had encountered. Her mother told her God had forgiven her father and she needed to do the same as well. So essentially, they kind of brushed it off. Huh. One of his sisters said she had confronted him after Jennifer shared what had been happening to her and he admitted it, telling her it was the worst thing he had ever done. The family knew the mother knew, but she kept her child in that environment. No mother of the year award is waiting for you, my friend. And today, despite his final admission of guilt, despite his plea deal in which he admitted he had raped and sexually violated his child, Mrs. Grazer Plain and the second lieutenant are still married. They're still together. According to reports, she has refused requests from the media for comment. I'm sure they have a lot of questions for her. I know the media have a lot of questions for her. And I guess they continue to live happy ever after. But I wonder if all of the people who have been defending him for years I wonder if they still look at him the same way. Hope the open shame he now has to face will provide some measure of comfort to all those who may have been impacted by his actions. And to all of the others out there, they're coming from you too. It's just a matter of time and you should be very concerned. And that's all I have for you right now. Feel free to leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about this video. And by all means, feel free to like and to share it. And if you haven't done so already, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel by clicking on that red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And if you click on this notification bell right here, you'll be the first to know whenever a new video is uploaded. I thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.